Was there anything that you learned about this world that you maybe didn't particularly know before that excited you? It's just even like how being a stormtrooper is incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I, does your character think that he is a villain because he is, you know, the antagonist of the show? Or does he think that he is out there doing what he believes is right and that he's actually more of a hero? I've been saying this all along, man. It, Cyril absolutely believes he's the hero of his own story. Andrea, how are you today? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I must say, I truly did love Andor, the few episodes I saw. I loved your character. One thing I really loved was the mystery and intensity surrounding your character. <laughs> with that mystery, I was kind of curious, um, with all of the seemingly past history with Cassian, is she helping Cassian because of their history, or does she want to take down the Empire, or both? Oh, good God. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um, you know, I, I, mm, I think she, she, she helps him because he's in trouble. I think, you know, whether she has other agendas and, and, and other things, I think this one's very specific. I think he did something bad and needs help. Okay. And she sort of rejects it and and then wants a piece of it and then rejects it again. And goes, <laughs> God, Cassian, why did you have to come now? Um, right when everything was running smooth for Biggs, right. here he comes in and disrupts everything. And so, yeah, so, so I think she helps a friend. I think she puts the safety of a friend before her own. And I think that's when Vix really discovers what true bravery means. Gotcha. Love that. And that actually kind of, you talked a little bit about her kind of everything going smoothly for her. Another question I was wondering is, does she want somewhat of a normal life? And, it, you know, she has a relationship with Tim, but Cassian keeps coming around. Is she trying to live a normal life? I think she is. I think she's desperately wanting to live a normal life. And I think, I think there's things around her that she <laughs> cannot ignore and she wants to so bad but she can't i think it goes beyond her i think bix is more mm -hmm. class. it's pretty pretty straightforward um she wants this for herself hence why she's in a relationship with tim who, which sure. obviously you can tell that she really cares for him but it's not the person for her um and and you see when Cassin comes in all of a sudden she like comes to life in a way she's right you know everything starts you know lighting up um yeah i love that it's kind of the thing where it's like you know this is easy but kind of bland but this over here is a little bit hard but it's like exciting invigorating and you know, yeah that's kind of what yeah. I mean, that in the character and so. it's at her own detriment too you're like girl right. get it together don't do it but <laughs> But, you know, I think there's there's a lot of things happening in the galaxy that 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 kind of help her make that decision. Sure, that makes sense with everything going on. Kyle, how are you doing today? Nice to meet you. I'm doing great, Warren. How are you, man? I'm fantastic. I just want to say, truly, I really love your character in this show because this show to me, I want it to be very intense. And your character really, really brings that, I feel, especially in some parts where like you're talking about the other character um you're talking about how two of your you know people have been killed and he says it's outrageous and you're like exactly i was like oh the conviction in that part was uh just bravo but so my question is my first one that i really want to know is your character is faced with something that i think a lot of people in real life might be faced with your superior tells you to do something but you're kind of conflicted because internally you want to do what's right and you ultimately make a decision so i'm curious does your character think that he is a villain because he is, you know, the antagonist of the show? Or does he think that he is out there doing what he believes is right and that he's actually more of a hero? I've been saying this all along, man. It, Cyril absolutely believes he's the hero of his own story. Um, I think all these characters are that we're exploring in, in Andor, actually. Um, everybody's got light and shade. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got complexity and real humanity, actually, that... That I, I certainly haven't seen in a, in a kind of, I think on, on this level, I haven't seen it in Star Wars before. And um, 
it's certainly what attracted me to the role is like, you know, this guy is, doesn't really know who he is yet. And he's trying to figure out his sense of worth and his sense of identity through the structure of <laughs> organization <laughs> called the yeah. Empire. And like, that's super dangerous for somebody who's willing to give over their life and their ideals to um, something that has that much power and control. And he wants it to even have even more power and control. He does. Yeah. So I'm just curious in preparing for this role and kind of understanding the world of Star Wars, was there anything that you learned about this world that you maybe didn't particularly know before that excited you? Um, specifically about um, Andor. Um, oh my, I learned I, I learned a lot of things, just even like how being a stormtrooper is incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I, I all I wanted was to be a, a, a stormtrooper like in the background just like for one take and no yeah. one's ever gonna know that I was it but I just wanted to wear it so bad just for a did second did you do it I didn't do it but I really 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 regret not doing it um, have you at least tried on a suit I have not oh but I really there was no time it was you know it was crazy busy for us but I really I really I really wanted to I kind of regret not and, you know, oh, and, and realizing that the, you know, creature actors and stormtroopers, they're the true heroes of this, of this set and of any Star Wars set. They're, they've been there for years. They almost look at you like, all right, hi, rookie. First one, is that your first <laughs> sure. one? It's number seven for me. And I'm like, oh, my God. you know, they've been in it for years. They know this world. They, they've been playing different, you know, creatures for ever. Sure. And, and you know, that's my respect. I'm like, you're, you're the boss in this set. I, I got it, you know, and it's, it's quite, it's quite beautiful. Well, I never that is amazing. Like that. <laughs> I, I think that's amazing. And I think the world is really going to welcome you, as you say, the a rookie coming in. I think they're going to love uh, Big. So I think they're going to love your portrayal of her. So that, that, was, that was actually one of my questions to follow up with was, does he want to climb the ranks of the empire? You think he seems very patriotic, very loyal. Is that something he'd want to do? hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's definitely like the best foot soldier they could ever have. <laughs> I mean, he, uh, he kind of doesn't have anything to lose. You understand where he comes from later on in the, in the series, you meet his mom, you know, you understand what his home life was like. <laughs> yeah. up and, and that's something that was like super refreshing. You know, I've never seen that before. And, um, and you have this macro scope of like the huge Star Wars universe, and then it gets so intimate as well. And, um, but he, yeah, man, like he's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's willing to do whatever it takes to um, get that power and get that recognition. But and, he's, he's willing to do that because he believes it's the right thing to do. Right. So good question. He's got a really strong moral core. I mean, at the very beginning, as you say, right? Like he, there are two security officers who've been murdered and he's like, well, I'm an inspector. Like we should investigate that. Right. right. Yeah. And you're working with people who are really lazy and <laughs> kind of like over it and, and don't really want the empire to be involved because involved. Cause they're like, well, things are good, man. We just hang out and have my ties and like, you know, just kind of get on. And right. he's like, no, there's like, you, what Cyril understands is that like, there are pockets that are, that are openings for potential threat. Mm -hmm. Every time something is, uh, let's say a, a security guard is murdered or uh, a taste of rebellion has kind of come up, like, if you don't act on that immediately, if you don't send the right message, then that can grow into something greater. Mm. And so I think, yeah, I mean, like in my real life, would I, would I be on Cyril's side? Probably not, but <laughs> I, I, I absolutely understand. Um, I understand and, and sympathize with like, he's, he's, he's doing the best that he can at his job. Sure. Yeah. It's almost like the hole in the, the Death Star that you're able just to shoot through and blow the whole thing up. He's protecting the Empire from those little tiny holes almost. Well, yeah. So he it. has, exactly, exactly. So he has this <laughs> kind of like, 
um, self-aggrandized view of himself. He's got delusions of grandeur, right? He's like, well, you know, I'm, even though he isn't part technically of the empire yet, he's like, I'm, I'm the empire's presence here because I mm. do things differently. I, I hold everybody to a higher standard and like, this could be like um, really important if we, if we allow, if we allow certain things like this to happen. So yeah, he totally feels like he's a guard dog. For these yeah. Things. And I, I love the character for that. And thank you so much for your time, Kyle. I know we got to wrap up, but uh, I think everyone's going to love Andor and I think everyone's going to love Cyril. Thank you so much uh, for your time. Thanks dude. Thanks so much. Take care. Yeah. So thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.